So this is a strategy I'm going to use it. Okay, so I can, you know, do the plus eight plus eight first, but right away I'm kind of distracted by that fraction. So I'm just going to say, well, I don't like that divide by five, so I'm just going to times everything by five. So I end up with five divide five times five cancel. So I'm just left with three times x. I have to remember to make everything this part three times bigger. I'm sorry, five times bigger. Okay, this needs to be 40. I need to make the 13 five times bigger. And that's going to stay balanced. Now this is a, becomes a much e simpler looking equation. I'm not distracted by my fraction anymore. And I can just deal with these whole number parts. Divide by 3, divide by 3. I end up with x equals 35. Okay. So same thing here. I'm looking at this fraction. I'm thinking, oh, I don't like that. I'm distracted by that divide by 4. So I'm just going to times both sides by 4. Okay, and it's going to stay balanced because I'm doing left side and right side by 4. Every piece gets 4 times bigger. But the times 4 and divide 4 cancel. So I'm left with n. 4 times 18 is, uh, what's that going to be? That's going to be 92. Okay. Sorry, that's not 92. That's 72. That's equal to 3. And then... Add 72 to both sides. Okay, again, make sure you're showing your steps because that's what you're being marked on. And works out to be 75. Okay, so that's my answer. So here I have a divide by 3 and a divide by 2. Well, I think I'm just going to get rid of those divides by multiplying by 2 and multiplying by 3. Okay, so I really I'm just multiplying by the lowest common denominator, which is 6. So the times 3 divide 3 cancel, so I'm left with 2x times 2. That 1, nothing cancels, so I'm going to times it by 6. Nothing cancels with the 3, so I'm going to times the 3 by the 2 times 3, which is 6. The times 2 divide 2 cancel, so I'm just left with x and my times 3. Okay, so just clean this up a bit. 4x plus 6 is equal to 18 plus 3x. So now I went from equation with all these fractions there. It was kind of hard to interpret. Now this is much easier. I can just go minus 3x minus 3x, minus 6, minus 6. So I end up with 1x is equal to 12, and there's my solution. So for these ones, we want to make sure we can draw a balance for these steps. Okay, so we're going to draw a balance. Now, you could do fraction bars. I'm just going to do a fraction circle. So I'm going to show that I have a quarter of an n. So that circle represents one whole n. And then I'm going to use a couple boxes here. And that's equal to 4. Now I can kind of take away 2 from both sides and see that 1 quarter equals 2. So 4 quarters should equal 8. Okay, so let's just see, confirm that when we solve this algebraically. Okay, I'm going to times by 4, so times 4, divide 4, undo each other. Okay, this is going to be equal to 16. When I do minus 8, minus 8, yeah, I end up with n equals 8 is what I kind of predicted when we, when we looked at the balance. So same thing here, we should be able to draw some picture for this. You can use a fraction circle, you can use a fraction bar. Okay, just make sure that you're able to draw some picture for this. I'm going to have a minus 1 as an empty one there. And I'm going to use these 
I'm kind of mixing algebra tiles and fraction circles here, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of my divide by 3 the times 3. Make everything, everything, not just some pieces. We got to make everything 3 times bigger. So I end up with a plus 3 plus 3. So 2x equals 18. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. I end up with x equals 9. Okay, so that's my final solution.